Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about one step inequalities. And we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, m over 5 is greater than or equal to a negative 5. Well, my first step here is I need to isolate m. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. What that does is leave me m by itself and says it's greater than or equal to well, 5 times negative 5, or negative 5 times 5, is a negative 25. So what that tells us here is that m, is already isolated, is greater than or equal to negative 25. So if I want to make a graph out of this, okay, I'm going to put negative 25 here. Let's go by 5s. Negative 20, negative 15, negative 10, negative 5, 0. Now we have a negative 30 here and a negative 35. Well, what they told me is that m can equal negative 25. So I'm going to put a closed circle right there at negative 25. Then m is greater than that. Okay? So if m is greater than that as well, we need to make our arrow go to the right, to the greater than side, right? Because in reality, think about this, negative 10 is greater than negative 25. Okay, that's a good little check there. Okay? So this graph represents, um, or, yeah, represents our answer here, which is m is greater than or equal to a negative 25. So let's recap. We're given m over 5 uh, is greater than or equal to a negative 5. To isolate m, I multiply 5 to both sides. Leave me with m is greater than or equal to a negative 25. From there, I uh, had to make my graph. So I made the number line here. And at negative 25, I put a closed circle, showing that m can equal that negative 25. From there, though, m was greater than also, okay? So it's equal to as well as greater than. So I had to make my line to the right, to the greater side, okay? And so this graph represents all values that m can be, and those, those values are m is greater than or equal to a negative 